Right guys, welcome back to the Golf GTI and in today's video it should be a good one because we are going to get this car fully looking how I want it to, all bar um, some coil springs, some lowering springs or possible coilovers, I don't know yet, but that will be the only thing that um, looks wise, aesthetic wise, won't be complete on this car, however, 99% uh, it will be done, this is how the car will look, I have the wheels, I will show you them in a second and the wrap will be fully done as well. And I've also got some Maxton Design splitters to fit, which we're gonna do in that, uh, today's video as well, guys. So the car will look sweet by the end of this video. So stick with me. Let's finish off this wrap. I'll just quickly show you what I've done off camera because in the last video, I don't think I've done the front bumper. I've done the rear bumper as well. Um, so I'll just show you what I've done quickly and I will reveal quickly as well the wheels because I cannot be bothered to try and hide them off camera uh, until I reveal them. So I'm gonna do that first. So the wheels I have gone for are Revo, RFO, 18s. I've gone for 18s, not 19s, um, because lighter, better handling, um, cheaper tyres, if I'm honest, and cheaper wheels. And I think 18s are fine for a, a GTI. I, I'm not, I, I don't know, I just wanted them to be lighter. Um, and I thought the 18s were fine, they look fine. So. I have one wheel on the car there. I have another one made up here already, so I'll show you them and see what you think. So these are the RFO 18s, and they are in bronze, like a dark bronze color. And I have also fitted some 235 4018 Pilot Sport 4 tires. Now, these look sweet in my opinion. Now, the standard GTI rim is a, is it seven? Seven, seven. That's seven and a half, Jay. Yeah. So the standard GTI rim is seven and a half inches wide, and these RFOs are eight inches wide, so um, half an inch wider, which means ideally you want slightly wider tyres on. And the st standard tyre size is a 225-40-18 on these, and I have actually gone for, for a centimetre wider tyre, which will hopefully uh, aid with grip on the front wheel. And the 40, so, so the, the width is 235 millimetres, 23.5 centimetres is the width of the tyre. The 40 means it's 40% of the width. So the side wall here should be 40% of this number here, which is what's that nine and a half centimeters? Oh well, that is not nine and a half centimeters. So 94, so it should be 9.4 centimeters this sidewall. And where are we? It is 8.4. Yeah, go figure. So I have no idea. The, the sidewall is a centimeter shorter than it should be. Um, am I doing anything wrong here? I don't see how I am, but it's a centimetre shorter than it should be, so uh, no idea. So anyway, 18 is the size of the rim. Um, so they are going on, and I will just show you now the one I already have fitted, test fitted. I haven't balanced this one yet, so it's got to come back off, but that is how it will be looking. Now I'll get the grey out, so it'll look like this. So I really like that, I really like these wheels, and I was a bit unsure after I'd ordered bronze, I thought, ah, should I have gone anthracite? But now seeing them in the flesh, they are dark enough that I do really like them. So really happy with that, and other good thing is, I don't need spacers, they fit in the wheel arch perfectly. So, what we're going to do now is, oh yeah, I'll show you, so yeah, front bumper all done here, look. So that is that, that was really hard. That, uh, the front bumper took me all day to do. I started at like eight o'clock in the morning and I didn't finish it till about 5 p.m. So I took the front bumper off to actually do it and that was really difficult. So especially getting all in here, look, all these slats here, getting in all these slats here, uh, really difficult. So, but it is all done now and it is looking good. So the other thing I have done is the rear bumper. So here's the rear bumper all done. So the rear end of the car is now complete. That's looking good. There we go, look. And I have also fitted my Maxton roof spoiler, which was fairly simple. So 
that is the Maxton roof spoiler all fitted and I do have a diffuser kit front rear and side skirts to also fit so There we go, look, front splitter is all on. Looking sweet. Got it spot on. Um, I haven't put all the screws in it yet because what I'm gonna do is I've just put, I think about three around that side, three around this side and just two in the middle at the moment. I do have about five more screws that I can put in, which I will do, but it's quite tricky to get to it because um, obviously the intercooler front um, rad packs in the way so what I'm going to do is when we get the intercooler to fit it and we've got to take the bumper back off I will then put some more reinforcing screws in there next up we have the rear diffuser which I have here and that should go just like I'm guessing So I'm proper fuming at the minute. I thought I had more wrap left than this. It looked like I had more. So I've just put it on the car and look, as you can see, I'm about 60 centimeters short of wrapping the whole car. That's proper pissed me off because that is literally the only bit that I haven't got um, wrap for. So which means if I want to do this as a one piece, I'm gonna have to buy now another three and a half meters of wrap to be able to do it, so that's proper pissed me off. So what I'm gonna do for the moment is I'm just gonna do the doors, so I'm gonna use this bit here to get the doors done and then I'll worry about the rest of it, obviously in another video, but that's gonna kinda of dent what I wanted to happen in today's video because I wanted to get it out in the open, like fully unveiled as a complete uh, looker. But unfortunately, we are gonna be a bit of a panel down, which is not great. But there we go, we'll crack on, do them doors, and let's see what it looks like, I guess. So I have just given her a quick clean, nothing too major. She's not really dirty anyway, but it's just a bit of dust settled in the workshop. I now have her sat in front of me and she does look absolutely sweet. So check out my new revamped Golf GTI. Think, let me know in the comments what do you think about the color combination with the dark bronze alloys the silver wrap um, obviously pan roof looks good 
left black. I've left the wing mirrors carbon grey because I think it actually looks okay. Um, kind of matches the splitter kit. You can't really tell the difference. But I think the wheels actually suit it really well. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy the wrap, it looks sick. Silver looks good in my opinion. And we got a splitter kit as well. Um, the roof spoiler is pretty subtle, but I think it actually works quite well. Again, you've got the rear diffuser. We have an uh, exhaust system turning up in the next day or two as well. So we're gonna have slightly bigger tips and they're gonna be a lot cleaner. So that's gonna make the, end, uh, the rear end look better as well. But just going down and obviously you can see there a little bit that I haven't had time to, or not had time to wrap, but haven't had the material to wrap. Now I was thinking actually, how would it look if, because obviously I've just put this bit on here just to give you an idea of what it looks like. But what if I took off this bit here that I put on and left this bit here and this rear quarter carbon gray and then did the same on the other side? I think it'd actually look pretty cool. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know what you think. But yeah, really happy with how it's come out so far. And that is now the car aesthetically, bar obviously the little bit of wrap and uh, some coilovers possibly or some lowering springs. That is it aesthetically done, which means we can now go on to modifying the car. So thanks to Maxton for the splitter kits. I'll put the link to the description for them uh, as well. And over the next few days, I'll have my new clutch turning up tomorrow. That will be here tomorrow. So the next video will be fitting the clutch. And what we're gonna do once that's done, we're gonna get some stock 0 to 60s. Uh, like 100 to 200 run, 30 to 70. I just want to get some stock draggy times um, with obviously the new clutch fitted uh, because obviously we road tested this and the old clutch is slipping, clutch valve uh, delaying, not very good. Uh, it was slipping at the top end. So if we put the new clutch in it and then take it out for some times, it is then a, a fair comparison to when we modify it. So I have the, as I said, clutch tomorrow. I've got the a full turbo DCAT system turning up in the next few days as well. I have my turbo in the workshop. I've got a 500 brake horsepower capable turbo that is already here. Um, I have the intercooler intake, um, etc. cetera. Go, uh, they should be arriving sometime this week. And then when we take the car to be dynoed and remapped, we will fit uh, some additional MPI injectors, some bigger CC secondary injectors to cope with the extra fuel, high pressure fuel pump coming as well. Um, and we have a four bar map sensor and that should be pretty much it, I think. Probably forgot something. Um, so the other things I've got, I've got some dynamic indicators for the wing mirrors, purely because this one is broken. Um, this indicator doesn't work so I thought bugger it I'll get some uh, new indicators or dynamic indicators for those so we need to fit those and then we can actually MOT it I need to MOT it before we fit the turbo because obviously DCAT would fail in uh, an MOT and I'm going to fit the turbo and the exhaust system at the same time makes sense so what we need to do is fit the in the early in the next video we'll fit the dynamic indicators and then that that should be fine for MOT whip it down get 12 months and then we can start uh, putting the exhaust on and stuff so yeah let me know what you think in the comments guys how do you think it has turned out I am actually really happy with how it looks looks sick let me know in the comments so guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. We've got quite a lot done and the car is, as I say, 99% aesthetically complete. So guys, in the next video, the modifications can start. So as always, thank you very much for watching. And if you do enjoy these videos, please do like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next video. Cheers guys.